not every tooth that could receive a root canal treatment must receive a root canal treatment. There is an alternative treatment and I did a study early on, maybe 15 years or 12 years ago, where we looked at what's called vital pulse therapy. Conventional wisdom was that this type of treatment can only occur when the tooth is asymptomatic. And what has changed and is really significant is that the distinction between reversible and irreversible pulpitis is no longer considered the 100% correct and true assessment. Pulpitis exists differently at different time points, but it's also different in terms of location. Consequently, treatment doesn't require removal of all pulp, but located specific pulp portions can be removed and then the rest of the pulp can absolutely be completely functional. And uh, the outcome, the likelihood of success for a molar pulp chamber pulpotomy is actually on par, similar to a root canal treatment. Yet it's much less invasive and much easier to create in certain clinical settings. Until relatively recently, we all were looking for the yardstick to say, okay, this pulp will die and will be requiring a root canal treatment. People have used um, molecular biology methods and so forth, but none of these methods have actually produced the yardstick that will tell us that. The reason is there is none such thing in the aggregate pulp, in the overall pulp condition. There's really only a handful of materials that are being used at the moment. The material is not so much the material that you use to bring in contact with the vital pulp but it includes other things like ideally a microscope so that we can directly observe the pulp. As far as the material to be used, or universally, I would recommend uh, calcium silicate based materials. Structurally, there shouldn't be any reason why an older patient, if the conditions are right, shouldn't benefit from vital pulp therapy. But you have to be able to show clearly, and this is why direct inspection may be good, that there is still perfusion in the pulp stump or in the pulp that one has exposed. What's the reason for vital pulp therapy to fail? There's two reasons here. Uh, we have an existing and significant bacterial colonization that we have not removed. Very unlikely if we perform this to the technical standard that we have right now. The other reason why vital pulp therapy fails uh, is late failure due to bacterial leakage. So that has to do absolutely with restorability. The quality of the restoration, the ability to seal uh, the margin of the restoration. The restoration should be placed as soon as practically feasible, as soon as possible even. For vital pulp therapy, that means the same day, same appointment. For root canal treatment, the definitive restoration should be placed uh, as soon as possible, next week, two weeks, not longer than that. We are dealing with uh, an aim. The aim of all we do here is lifelong retention of teeth. Because tooth loss, compensated for by an implant or anything like that, is a significant detriment to the quality of health. We don't have to look only at the restoration today, but also at the restorative subsequent treatment that this patient will undergo. Then the goal can be achieved. And so now for me as a scientist, is important to develop the framework for that. And as an educator, to get uh, our students and hopefully also the practicing dentist into the situation that they say, yeah, I can provide this type of treatment. I'm really appreciative uh, of the invitation. I'm happy to come to this meeting for the FDI. This is great for a variety of reasons. This is a multi-specialty meeting, the ability to interact, to network, to meet people and discuss things. Sydney, of course, is a great place, or one of the most beautiful places uh, uh, that, that you can imagine. And so every time I can go back, I will like that. Yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a fantastic thing. I look forward to that. And um, I look forward to meeting colleagues that I have not met, but also meeting some friends that I already know will be at the meeting as well.